my man BJ. Looking good. All right, guys, big day today. Big day today for multiple reasons. We got Travis. Travis, wave to the camera. Travis is generally the one behind the camera, but he's been putting in work here. Are you the director of organization at LS Nasty? Ooh, organization. No, no. Logan is the director of Gorganization. Are you? Organization. You're the director of organization. organization. Yeah. Logan is the Gorganizer. Now that we got that out of the way, we can get started. To, all right. I'm so excited, I can't even finish my sentences. Shop looks sweet. Murdered out, LS Nasty. We got all the rigs parked back. No, we're not only going cars and coffee. Last day. Last day. Go to LS Nasty. Get your merchandise. Get entered to win this lovely car out here. What is, what is today? Not only is it the last day, but it is... He Monday. Forgot. He forgot, he forgot. You never told me. He forgot. Five times entries. I definitely told you. You definitely didn't. I told you, you it was five times. I definitely no, you, told you. Lied. I told you. All right, guys, it is five times entries to win my Caprice. This is the last time you guys will ever see it looking like this. It goes tomorrow to get new headliner and tint. And this thing right here is absolutely badass. 500 horsepower, TKM big stick, cold AC, heat, four doors. Start it up, Logan. going to drive this over to the other shop we have a oh whoa 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 don't want to get copyrighted oh this thing needs a full detail too headliner new headliner going in tomorrow very excited i think we're going black with the headliner i like a black headliner i think it looks good um and then we're gonna full detail when whenever you pick this up whoever the winner is if it is you i'm talking to you at home if it is you you're going to get this thing with a full tank of e85 fresh headliner completely detailed it's probably gonna have two to three inches of tire shine on it minimum minimum two to three inches of tire shine what do you have to say about that olive grease all chicken grease like you would not believe i mean this thing's gonna be you're gonna look at this thing and you're gonna slip it's gonna be that shined up and greased up all right first look uh ls nasty new look i like you're waiting on the sign guys if you make metal signs i want a metal backlit ls nasty racing sign Sorry, I'm sorry if I just got into it on your brand new daily driver when it was cold. I apologize. My sincerest of apologies. They got till midnight. He's trying not to wreck right now. There's like a... <laughs> I don't know what's flying around in here. But yeah, this thing's sick. This is my favorite part. Ready? You pop it neutral. We just got, we just got the head nod from the guy next to us. I mean, this thing is just beating the ground. The, the light's green. He has not left yet. He's not. He look. He got caught. He got caught looking. Uh, this thing, it does that. You, you can't go anywhere in this, can Bro, you? Bro, I looked over, he looked at me, and he went. I mean, dude, this is the best sounding. You just pull up to a stoplight. God, that was so good. That, that was good. That was good. I, don't know, I can't tell if there's a cop behind us or not. But I, I'm kind of feeling like I need to floor it. I don't need a ticket. I don't need a ticket. I don't need a ticket. Not before I give it away. God, that thing that pulls. Got us a ticket. Oh yeah, that was, not, that was 90. <laughs> Private road. This thing pulls like a freight train up top, like an absolute freight train.
right, y'all, so we made it over. One last look at the Caprice before we check out the trailer. It's about to be impressive. It's about to be impressive. All right, here we go. We got some shower trailers first. Pow, look at this. Right here, it is our new vintage. This is like the top of the line, the creme de la creme vintage trailer. Um, triple axle got the Alcoas which look absolutely sick it's gotta be polished up it's dirty just made a trip from Indiana got here last night uh, this thing is absolutely insane so uh, right up front we got uh, mini split AC power jack you got your plug in here uh, to run your AC and run everything inside the trailer which is uh, absolutely sick sorry I don't know how to work everything yet I'm just learning it um, this is big this is big power jack None of my other trailers have a power jack. This thing is an absolute beast. All right, let's walk around. Let's, let's get down into it. Let's just, let's just hop inside. So, um, unlike all of our other trailers, this thing has many cool features. The first one is, now to some of you, this might be normal, but... Just got to get started, right? Look at this got a winch for the door how cool is that that is just the coolest thing that i've ever seen i've never know, owned anything that's got this stuff on there i mean this is like some next level stuff look at that dude unreal freaking sick welcome to ls nasty my trailer edition how excited are you right now pretty excited this thing's sick i can't wait to stuff the pool yeah I, me either me either all right so first thing you notice once this door gets winched down is we got the massive, massive, massive um, fold-out door for the uh, for the tongue loading the trailers. I know what you guys are saying, John. That's crazy high angle. Hey, what if we need to jack up the front of the trailer? Literally right there. Guess what? So when you're loading and your breakover angle is way too much. Hey, Logan, it's got too much angle. We need to jack up the front, flip the button right there. I mean, dude, that right there is a very cool feature to me because now you don't gotta mess with the front or the back. Absolutely sick. All right, let's get in here. Uh, unlike some of our other trailers, uh, none of our, our trailers that we've had before are lift gate trailers. So the, the door itself is only a door, it's not the lift. We run these Stinger lifts inside. We used to have 4,000 pound lift. Now we have a 6,000 pound lift. This lift is much longer than normal. It is, is very long. And there's multiple reasons. In case we ever decide to run top fuel, we need to have a long... <laughs> well, actually, it's a good thing we got a 6,000 pound lift. That means the cow can go The cow can place. ride up top. Uh, but also we needed to get it long enough to reach this overhang because... The overhang is braced and built to hold a car. So this is now, instead of a two car stacker, it is a three car stacker. So one up here, one on the lift, one below the lift, smart car. I think there's enough room for a Chevy Spark. Dude, we could put a freaking SUV in Dude, this thing. Are you kidding me? We need to get a tape measure. Go inside and get a tape measure. They, this thing is not 34 feet long. This thing 36. is- 36, I looked at the tag. Is it 36? Yeah. It seems longer than that. It seems like it's 56. This thing is massive. So uh, we got the little flap right here. So what you do is you'll run the lift up. Ceiling height is very high, which is nice. Uh, run the lift up to here, run, fold the flap out, hook your winch up, winch the other car forward, strap it down, send the lift back down, put another car up on the lift. Dude, you're good to go. You know what could fit up here? What? The Colorado. The Colorado, yeah. Can. Yeah, I mean, dude, sick. This is an absolutely, absolutely sick trailer. Um, the Stinger lift, the upgrade to the 6,000 pound is very nice. I dig it. It's a loud ass truck, hell yeah. All right, so. Uh, this is my new favorite thing, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. The fold out table? It's for the outside of the trailer. No, no, it, it's for both. It's yeah, for both. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but look at this. You could fold it up in here too. Look at that. And outside workspace so hey. it's got those four pins as you guys see right, right here you can kind of pick it up and you can bring it out 
go through the meat curtains, pow, right there. Set it down, table's good to go. Super, super sick. What's that big square on the side for? All right, so the big square, let's talk about it. This is a box for a TV. This is uh, all Chris. Like I said, Chris spec this one out. This is one of the more Chris things uh, that we've had designed. Yes, that is literally just a box to put an 85 inch TV. 85 inch. 85 inch TV. Yep, we're just gonna put an 85 inch TV there. When we feel like watching some TV at the track, we'll pull it out, fire up Roku, watch some YouTube, maybe play some Crossy Roads. Who knows? Who knows? That's that's it right there. 85 inch TV box. I, honestly, having the the little table right here is is absolutely sick. We can put the Xbox out here now. Oh my God! Stop. We're actually we're still going to the track to race. All right. One thing that I do want to say about these trailers that are really nice, uh, I don't know if Vintage is making all their trailers like this, they don't have a latch for the second door. They got this rope that you pull. Um, I have it in my trailer. It is extremely nice and convenient. Look at that. Doors lock in place. The trailer is plumbed with air. When I was up there two months ago, they talked about how they had just switched over to. Yeah. They were all going to start using that. That is, that is really nice. Trailers. So uh, if you look right uh, right on the other side of that power cord, move those papers, you have the in for the air. The air, the trailer is plumbed for air already. So got an airline here. You got an airline there. there. You got one back there. You got one right here. And you got one back here, which is perfect because when you set up, you know, if we're running two cars, we'll have one car up front, one car at the back. They both have pro jacks. Well, pow, you're good to go. You don't have airlines run all over the place. Uh, it's got the mini split up front which is sick, so it's got heat and air. That's why it's got the meat curtains there. You get to the track, you shut the back door, and you're good to go. Dude. Absolutely sick winch. Sick winch. It's got one up top, one up top and one down bottom. Hideaway. Toolbox, built in, love that. Radio, some storage. Now, I will say, compared to my trailer, the doors on this, like this is the next level up for my trailer. My trailer, I got a 34 inch, uh, 34 inch, I got a 34 inch trailer. 34 inches. I hold my mini, my RC cars around. I um, can't even haul RC car with that. <laughs> I got uh, a 34 foot vintage pro stock. This has really nice doors, aluminum front and back. They just feel really sturdy. Everything just feels really good. Uh, dual batteries, uh, it's got the Intel power. So when you plug it up to the truck, it'll charge the batteries. So right now we're not running a generator. We're not running anything. And the trailer has all the lights and everything. Well, you know, it's almost time to get rid of yours and go ahead and get another one on order. Radio comes on. I mean, here's your um, AC and heat right there. That's going to come on once you run the generator. Uh, and then you got your switches here for your lights. And it's got outdoor lights and it's got a, a three position switch. So you got a low and high, which is extremely nice. I like this. Uh, we couldn't run the full cabinet for the L shape because we got the mini split, but they ran them down the side. So now you could stick your toolbox right here or stick it right here, put your drum of methanol here, toolbox right here. You can still put things and you still got the storage space, which is, I mean, dude, this trailer is sick. What is this? Oh, wow. Didn't even know that. This is my new favorite feature right here. Under the cabinet light. Love it. And this is where the box is on the inside for the, t the television. So literally other side of this Johnny here, you got a TV. Uh, this, this trailer is sick. It's tall. It's big. It's badass. It is ready to go racing. So big shout out to uh, Dynamite Trailers, uh, Zap Racing, Vintage Trailers uh, for hooking us up with this unit. This thing is absolutely sick. I just got um, some Alcoas that I put on my um, 3500 in one of my work trucks. I got some 24 inch Alcoas and they just happen to match this. So maybe I'm gonna have to haul this around with, uh, with my work truck here. Definitely some wheel spikes needed wheel spikes needed but yeah this thing's badass it's got you know big axles in it i mean it's got it's got all the goodies so uh this thing's sweet speakers on the outside it's got all your power so we're gonna run our fans and our blowers and our trains coolers and everything we'll be good to go i mean this thing is sick so we'll put the door back up i think this is one of the coolest features tell me that ain't sick tell me that's not sick this thing's an absolute beast. Dude, sick. It's just freaking sick. That's all I can say. I'm blown away. I am blown away. Absolutely sick trailer.
it's so satisfying after having swung these massive trailer doors up for the past three years to be able to just to press a button dude that is sick what you think to hold a car or two we actually got this so we can fit our uh, pulling tractors in here. We're getting in a tractor pulling, so we'll be able to fit one tractor in here. He get the buy this round. John Doc got the buy this round. The black seat on the property. He got the buy for the next round. Fifteen. 